Hello good morning everyone today's topic is sickle cell anemia one of the genetic disorder normal rbc of a person looks like this it is biconcave disc shaped structure this is a cross section you can see depressions at the center which indicates biconcave it is a disc shaped rbc whose life span is 120 days after 120 days bone marrow and spleen will be uh, involved in regeneration and destruction of rbc what happens in sickle cell anemia is rbc from biconcave disc shape becomes sickle shaped sickle katti shape so if the rbc becomes sickle shaped its life span decreases instead of 120 days it will be alive for 10 to 20 days only after which it is destructed what happens if such uh, sickle shaped rbcs are there such rbcs when they move through blood vessels they will be blocking the movement of rbc also causes severe pain so blockage of blood vessel severe pain since their life span is very less after 10 to 20 days number of rbc decreases lesser the number of rbc we can say that less blood and that is the condition where there is less blood is called anemia blood is required to carry oxygen lesser the rbc lesser the oxygen carrying capacity of a person and he will have shortness of breath then there will be fatigue because lesser the rbc lesser the oxygen carrying capacity all tissues won't be getting sufficient amount of oxygen when oxygen is not got there won't be further breakdown of, of glucose to produce atp so energy won't be there in the body uh, tiredness feel will be coming that is called fatigue these are the common symptoms what is the reason for a change of disc shaped rbc to sickle shaped in a normal rbc inside rbc there is an oxygen carrying protein pigment called hemoglobin hemoglobin has two alpha chain i have indicated it in green color two beta chains indicated it in blue blue color in beta chain of hemoglobin protein at the sixth position there will be mutation change in the gene which occurs and that change may converts the normal rbc to sickle shaped rbc what is the genetic reason for such mutation in our body there are autosomes and allosomes autosomes are body chromosomes they decide body characters not the uh, sex of an individual in one of the autosome normal gene is present called hba gene hba genes uh, there will be alleles for a gene i have shown only one hba gene hba gene gene is nothing but segment of dna so its segment normal segment contains ctc or hba gene has ctc at the sixth position which is nothing but a codon set of three nitrogenous base form one codon G- ctc is on one template strand gag on one more coding strand because dna is double stranded now transcription occurs message is copied to a messenger rna from template strand only message is copied c g t a c g complementary base pairing will occur and mrna will be carrying gag if gag is there that is a normal message when there is normal message normal protein will be formed normal protein at the sixth position of beta globin chain should be glutamic acid then the rbc will be biconcave disc shaped this is normal condition but due to various reasons there will be mutation in the hba gene and that mutated gene is called hbs sickle shape re- gene responsible for causing sickle shaped rbc at the sixth position where exactly uh, mutation occur at one base instead of ctc t gets mutated to a so cac will be formed its complementary strand will be carrying other message i have written u u doesn't exist in uh, it should be t in dna so cac is the template strand now because of mutation so its mrna instead of gag 
C codes for G, A codes for U, C codes for G. So G A G has changed to G U G. Even if one minor change in the nitrogenous base occurs, then this particular codon doesn't code for glutamic acid. G A G changes to G U G. G U G codes for valine. When there is valine in the sixth position instead of glutamic acid, sickle-shaped R B C is formed. Sickle-shaped R B C. There will be hemoglobin. the hemoglobin is defective those hemoglobin will be joining together to form a long chain because of that long chain formation sickle shaped rbc is formed and that is called polymerization because of polymerization of hemoglobin oxygen carrying capacity decreases hence what are the conditions in which disease can be caused if a person is having normal allele hba hba both are normal so glutamic acid only will be produced he won't be having any sickle cell anemia trait what if one gene gets mutated alleles these are all alleles hbs so this is a autosomal recessive trait we can tell because defective gene is recessive only when two recessive genes are present together it will cause the disease So in this case, person is just a carrier of sickle cell anemia. Person will be normal, but in his cell there will be a defective gene. Only when both recessive allele, both alleles get mutated, HBS, HBS, person will be having sickle cell anemia. So this is how disease is caused. It is an example for autosomal recessive trait. I hope you have understood. Thank you for watching.